and welcome back. This is episode number 9 of this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist link in the description. And let's get started. And we are back to our Raspberry Pi OS with Sony. So make sure that you wait enough time so that the Raspberry Pi is connected again to the Wi-Fi network. If needed, it can happen sometime that the Raspberry Pi never connects. Well, you just remove the power cable and you put it again, but make sure that you wait at least two or three minutes before you do this. And then, well, we are connected back to the Pi and we can use Python to detect when the button is pressed or not pressed. So how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to also use the uh, GPIO 0. So we're going to do from GPIO 0 and then import. So instead of LED, this time we have button. So button with only the B uppercase. Then I'm also going to import time because we're going to use it a bit later. All right, and we have everything correctly imported. Now, how to initialize the button? It's going to be very similar at what we did with the LED. You're going to create a variable here. Let's name it button, for example, is equal to, and you're going to use the same name here. So button with B uppercase. You open and close the parentheses and you need to give the GPIO number for that pin. And the GPIO we use to read the uh, push button value is the GPIO number 26, as you can see on the image. So what this line is going to do is going to initialize the GPIO 26 as an input pin. Okay, for the LED was output, here it's input. So then we can read the value from the push button. And how to read the value from the push button? Well, we have inside button, we can do button dot is pressed. And note here that we don't have any parentheses. Okay, it's just is pressed like that. This is going to return true if the button is pressed and false if the button is not pressed, which is basically the two states of the button. So what to do with this? We can put it inside a variable and we can print this variable. We can also directly print it. That's what we're going to do just to test. So let's run that and let's see what we have. And well, you can see we have false. So as I told you, this is going to return true or false. And because the button is not pressed, then we have false. And now what I will do is I will press the button. Okay, so the button is pressed. And at the same time, I run the program. And you see now it is true. Okay, I run again, true. Then I release. And then it's false again. So you can see for a push button is very easy. You just initialize the push button and then you do button dot is pressed and you just know if the button is pressed or not. Just to improve that, let's say we want to keep uh, reading the state of the button and print the state, for example, every one second. We can do something similar as what we did with the LED. We can do a while true. Okay, so let's create an infinite loop and we are going to print the button in this loop. And of course, well, we don't want to print it at an infinite speed. So it's not infinite. It's basically the, the speed of the Raspberry Pi of the CPU, but we want to print it every one second. So time to sleep with one. Okay. So with this, we initialize the button and then we just print its state every second. So I'm going to run this program and you can see it is false. Okay, and now, so it's still false. I will press, you see, I press on the button, it's true. I release, it's false. I press again, it is true. I release, it's false, etc., etc. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.